Hello and welcome to part three, I think part three of my MySQLite database tutorial. My name is Mitch Tabian and in this one we are going to create an update button, update data button, so you can update the data in your database. So I've already gone ahead and added this, I called the button update data and I gave it the ID button update data. Um, so now we just need to create an ID field because the ID field is how how you're going to refer to which which thing you want to delete from the database. So let's call that ID and throw plain text in here. Call it uh, edit text ID. I'm going to put a hint. So use to update. Actually, maybe, yeah, I use fine. Okay, so I think we're ready to go. Let's go into your database helper first, and we're gonna create the um, gonna create the update update data method here. So uh, what is it? It's gonna be a boolean, I think. Yeah, boolean uh, update data. Whoops, not empty. It's gonna take your ID. It's gonna take your name, your email and your favorite TV show. Whoops. There you go. And the first thing you do always is reference your database. Whoops, did the open helper thing on me again. I just want a just want a database. There we go. So we gotta use content values here again, just like we did in the first tutorial for adding values. to add the values. So we have ID. ID, name, oops, email, and TV show. And database dot, and we call the update function. So this is another built-in function. And we just gotta pass it the table name, pass it the content values that we just created above. Um, create, put the ID here, because that's what we're gonna. This is what we're gonna use um, to reference what we want to delete. And make sure that this right here is exactly the same as what you have up here, or it won't work. got to do in here. So we're going to head over to inactivity and start declaring some variables. Uh, so we have a new button. Button, what was it? Button update. Not get button update. Button update data. And we have a new edit text. So edit text ID we'll call it. Oh, I already added it. Okay. Sure. Get out of here. So we have add data, view data, update data. Yeah, and we have a new edit text for ID. Okay, so it's button at um, update data. Oh, I already made it. Oh, okay. So the next thing we need is edit text ID. Is that what we called it up here? Yeah. Equals edit text. View by ID, R dot ID dot text. Okay. So we need to add the button update data and the edit text ID just to make sure you guys got that. I, I already added them and I forgot. So then we're going to scroll down and we're going to create, create our new method. I think, I think we're ready to do that. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So public void update data. Whoops. So button update data. I'm gonna set an on click listener like we always do. New on click listener, let Android build it for you. Um, 
So this is this this um, temp variable that I'm defining here is just to test if if they actually entered an ID before they hit delete. So edit text ID. And so basically, I'm going to get its length. Temp is going to be an integer value. It's going to be its length. And if its length, if temp is greater than zero, then we're going to do stuff. And if not, then we're going to make a toast. So I'm going to, I'm going to copy this toast here. If not, we're going to make a toast and tell the user that they forgot to enter the ID. So now if the, if the user hits update update data and they haven't entered an ID, they'll be prompted with this message. Should be should be good. So now we're actually gonna use the code. Edit text ID, edit text, and edit text, email, edit text, TV show. So this is our update data function here that we made over here, it takes your ID, your name, email, and TV show as parameters. Oh, um, you have to you have to typecast into strings. That's right. Dot get text dot to string. Let's go on a new line and clean this up a little bit. Get text dot to string. these are strings, obviously. Okay, so if update is true, meaning it worked, because we will return true if it worked, uh, we're going to print out a toast and say successfully updated data. Else, we're going to say you messed up. Actually, probably more likely I messed up because it means there's something wrong with the code. So something went wrong. Actually, unhappy face. That seems to be seems to be the trend I'm I'm using here. So then I think that's it. We just need to call our update data method inside of Young Create. I think we're good to go. So we'll run that. Oh, excuse me. I just had dinner. Come on, emulator. Oh, here we go. If I leave it open, it seems to work pretty good. But if I if I close it, this thing takes like five minutes to open up again. So we'll click View Data. Check this out. That's weird. It skipped. It skipped an ID. Huh. Okay, well we will we will update let's update uh Mitch here at ID number four with the email peanut butter. Let's change that. So we're gonna go Mitch. And his email now is gonna be Jelly. His favorite TV wait, was that his email? Oh whatever. His email is gonna be now Jelly at Google.ca. His favorite TV show is gonna be Winnie the Pooh. And his ID was 4. So we had update data. Successfully updated data. So let's take a look. And you can see it updated. Cool. So now I'll show you what will happen if you forget to put in an ID and hit update data. You must enter an ID to update. Good. So that thing's working. Alright. So that's it for this one. In the next one, I'm going to add a, a delete button to this. So uh, yeah. See you in the next one. And thanks for watching.